This is open to the public to But we go to Dakan because we're so special. But uh, Hello! Okay. Hi there! It's oh, like good. residents and non-residents. Okay, green. God, they Hello! Can... Hi there! Hi, Bitcoin. By pocket... Dude, I'm so blessed. All the all access I have by the virtue of watching. I'm going to make the easiest fucking $20,000 in like a month. Watch. I gotta get it by it first. I have the cash in my bank account. I just my biggest challenge in the so next Bitcoin's point. low and it's gonna go zoom zoom. Oh yeah, but it's already so saturated. I'm talking about like the but the little uh, altcoins. Yeah, exactly. And this altcoin is a big project. It's a relayer. It's pocket. You know about pocket. It's a relayer for other blockchains. So it's fucking established <gasps> relayer. Um, so yeah. No, I like to buy these dips because I walk right from the sidelines. And when you buy the deeps, the, the, the corner. oh yeah, when you buy the deeps, you make big money real quick. Okay, since we got the kind, um, the kind. Mmm. Now what's on residency? The we gotta prove sandwich. we're resident by showing the driver's license. Mama. And it's free, bruh. It's free. For residents. Free. You live here. If you get the kind. You need to see look commercial. Look. Ten dollar per vehicle parking and fifty dollar no five dollar per person. I could use it. Not resident. It's free, 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 free for us, free for us to. She has a job. Everybody has a job. That's how you pay for that. See, it's a sell. Residents no reservations. Wait, how much parking is ten bucks? It's free. No, it's free. Non residents. Hi. Hi there. Oh. Aloha. Huh? Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Awesome! Scobra! <laughs> Shoot Zakan, eh? Shoot. Let <laughs> huh? Yeah! She's excited for us. because like, hey, It's not fair for us to be paying. Learn how to, to speak. That's like running down there. Bruh, it's running on your sack, okay? Yeah, yeah, Alright, nice. come down. When you make a quick uh, $20, you don't care about nothing. Because you're rich hey. all of a sudden. No pay. Resident. Yeah, cuz. Okay, Print now the we're corner. Find a spot. Oh, look at how busy. So look, ten dollars per head, right? Look at all this money they're making to just like right now. Yeah, money, 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 money. Jesus Christ. Look at all the people. And they all come to you, right? They all oh bro. Uh yeah, yeah this is like a lot of people holding. You have a handicap spot though, yeah? No, but we're not good. I don't have this. I don't oh, have this thing. shit. Maybe this one? Okay, are they leaving or not leaving? Let me, I'll go ask. We, we'll have to have this like yeah, nine yeah. minutes of parking. Awesome. Okay, be nice. <laughs> <sighs> okay, there was parking, but could have just waved me over. Okay, bottom of Diamond Head State Memorial Park inside Diamond Head Crater. A lot of tourists. <laughs> okay, he ran away. I don't know. Oh, Dave Trail. So, in the 1920s, policemen were called about these strange lights in Waikiki at the end of Kapiolaha, Kapahulu. And it turned out to be night marchers going across where Kapilani Park is. Night marchers. Oh, oops, excuse me. Ghost. Well, 1920s. What details do you get? But if you look at the, if you map it out, of course, 
night marches as a legend. If you map it out, that's the direction that they marched was towards that hit yow. The hit yow that was human sacrifice. That's where the night marchers went. Fair enough, fair question. But to take my point home for the third point is that this space rock did not project a tail of a comet, did not project any uh, lingering of a gas behind it. It was flying through space without any of those effects. No, for example, comet will have a tail, as we know. Most folks don't want to come this. It's of extraterrestrial origin. Now, did I miss anything? If you had to make your point. Sure. Home. Well, in your vast knowledge of database in your brain, what could justify that? Maybe it's just uh, some odd. Well, it was a thing going through the space. Uh -huh. Hold on. Yeah. And now you, sir, now that you do your explanation. Uh, uh, well, it was a big oblong object going through, more like you a meteor. For me. More like a meteor. Uh huh. But it wasn't falling into. It was out there like a giant asteroid, rather. Uh huh. We were worried about it. Uh huh. Yes, and sir. People, scientists. Uh huh. Yes, sir. Very official. Official business right here. Yeah, official business. <laughs> had this notion. Well, one guy had a notion. With the, with the hat. <laughs> one guy had a notion that was extraterrestrial for various reasons. Like it, maybe it slowed down some or something like that. Go ahead, sir. But since then, if you watch Science with Anton, it was pretty good at stuff. No, Anton, the guy with the Slavic. Oh, yes, yes. He's great. He's terrific. He really nails it. Really? Breaks it down real well. Yeah, what did Anton have to say on that? Well, he did an analysis of that large asteroid looking thing. Uh-huh. Brought up the scientist thought it was for ET. And he's just like, no, it's not. But he analyzed what it kind of was, most likely. And it's like something that broke off from, you know, like a big planet stuff and they get hit by another planet or a piece of rock from another uh, large asteroid or a large body rock excuse us gentlemen professor max fern where are we going <laughs> look at this <laughs> those two nerves like who so, yeah. we're not a glum lie we just sign this sign this sign this film release out so yeah, it's just, it had a, a shield, like a, a coating on it mm -hmm. so from the impact. So basically it had nothing that would brush off of it. No comet tail. Oh, because it had a coating. That was yeah. the explanation. Comets they, are ice and puffy and oh, that one didn't, stuff but, falls off and it takes a tail. But wait, yeah. it doesn't explain why it still didn't melt in straight wall. I guess the space is cold behind you. It's rock. Okay, you can turn that off. Okay. So it'll be five, ten. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Professor means professing. That's like talk too much. Okay. Professor Max Fern. Yeah, I got the pith helmet, huh? No, the hat is cool. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called or something. I forgot what it is. Some other or whatever. That would be cool if you speed this up like five eggs when you go. Give it up in two seconds for the audience. Or you could say, okay, guys, we're starting a hike. Next time I check in with you, we'll be at the top. And 
and we're at the top. I've seen those shortcuts on YouTube. You know, uh, YouTubers do that. Yeah. It's like a fun little <laughs> shortcut. Okay, guys, you don't have to follow me doing this hike, so I'll just see you at the top. Bye bye. And then next, you're at the top, right? Just be careful with. Yeah. Hmm. If the Europeans do go anywhere. So yesterday I sent you something fun. It's usually yeah. Toronto. Yeah. I'll wait till we get to the top. I got some closure on it this morning. It was on engine coin. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, it starts now. Here we go. Oh, Good job, buddy. Hold on a sec. You don't know how proud I am, buddy. Because I'm not saying you Very well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Take all the time you need, very important. You might be uh, nauseous or want to throw up, so take all the time. So you don't want to go this way? It's like this. Want to go that way? Oh gosh. Okay. Big breakthrough. She did it, holy shit. Holy shit, I am so impressed with her. You want to take care of her? Don't drop it. Hey, don't drop it. Ready? Okay. Take your time. So tell me about Anton. Oh, they pointed one direction. Jesus, dude, look at your pointing cat. Oh, and you, yeah? Well, oh, uh, should I go up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't count, but I already know how many numbers there are. 100? It's like 99. Oh, really? It's a stretch.
It's so professor. Tell me how it dealt with it. Get your knife. Get your knife. Get your knife. Get your Take a while. Be careful. Here we go. And start. Here we go. Take your time, take your time. We'll be at the top in about two floors. Go it up, and up, and up. There we go. There we are. One more level. There's just two floors. Two sets of stairs. Yeah, we're here. And this part is blocked off already. This part is blocked off. And then when anybody Oh, do you want me to fight? Take a chat. There's Capilani Park, right the key, Capilani Park, right at the end of these weird little houses, right under there, that's where the big human sacrifice hate y'all used to be. Me too, planet Earth. Shake my hand, it'll be like this. Shake my hand, mm -hmm. sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, pretty good. You've got pretty good imagination, though. It's, it's pretty small. Yeah, well, this is planet Earth. Look, I can see a curve. It's not so. The park. You know, it's all I'm loading up here. <laughs> Why do I look so bad? Ah. Inside the crater. House is over there. There's Kapilani Park there. And if you go down, let's see if I can zoom in. Hopefully. Right there where the little arches are. Focus. Oh, it's not focusing. Right there. Right there, underneath that building. That's where the Hiyao used to be for movement sacrifice. Dominated credit is in almost perfect circle with a diameter of 3,520 feet and a floor area of 175 acres. Damahead is also known as the Mount Liahi. It is 760 feet high on its peak and ends two times five hiaos, places of worship, were located on around the crater. Oh. Our same name. 
to heat out, switch to the head, stay fit to the ground, and protection against strong off-drop. Total strangers. Good job. Good job. Good work. Oh, look at this helicopter landing. Right here. See that? That's what the sign says. Look. Helicopter landing. End of trail. Don't go over there because the helicopter land on you. Wounded knee. And get more signs. I was like, I thought that was it. Are you ready for the booty building session? Oh, oh, that, that stairs. I go, go in there. Absolutely not. Thank you. 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 It's the haunted tunnel. Ooh, there's the ghost. Oh, there goes the ghost. There goes the ghost. This one says quite the excavation right here. Oh, yeah, it's like Yeah, they blasted this sucker. Oh, you know what? If I can do this. This is something like 70 steps or something. That's not hot. Look, my, it's like white because I'm full on to it so much. Doesn't hurt as much as... You gotta hold on to it tight and the first 20 seconds will burn, but then once you pass, not to feel them pass, you know it cannot physically burn you. It's just in your mind. And it makes your hands that much stronger. Okay. Go, 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 five. See, now it's okay. This is why we read the signs. Come here. Alert! Rocks may fall without warning, causing serious injury or even 
death. So don't be alert, because if you proceed, you'll be dead. <laughs> the rocks will fall. Uh, uh, getting off at a paved trail to the paved path. Just a and a hike. <sighs> It's basically the hottest part of the day. It's like, oops. The, the wind and everything. It's kind of like Wolverine. Music. It's irritating. Well, what do you think about that hike? It was wonderful. We did it in record time. Yeah, it was about two hours. Um, well, we went up there in record time. Yeah. Actually, which is what, we probably went up there in 25 minutes. That was uh, a really hot day. This, uh, it's like 3 o'clock. It's like the hottest. Day. So it's, well, it's, that's really good. Awesome exploration for today. That was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. What a wonderful way to spend the day just exercising. Get your holy on, get your spirit on, talk about Universe, talk about space aliens, space jump, explore the nothing, like look for the uh, dynamite blast in the tunnel. Recording. Yep. Should be right up here. Yep, recording. So yeah, where it got to be open range chickens. Food. Yeah, open range. I mean, we can go in and out. That's and just they gotta watch. There's some fucked up just open society like a, in a movie maybe they'll say we're gonna go in front of us okay oh. did he get there first or he got here oh. first he's coming from over there he's probably see that's like people who work in here my dad used to work in here it was faa but faa doesn't work in they don't have a building now but it's like uh uh Army National Guard, I think, is in here. Some other top secret stuff. Area 51 shit. <laughs> no, there's people that work in here. Well, we got a red light. But no traffic. Yeah, they're all getting off work. Yeah, it's 3.30. So. They're all, like, pulling up at the same time. Efficient business only restricted area. Yeah, of course. These are all the working people. But I'm I'm happy that you reconcile recognize about obesity like it's a psychological um, psychological disease disease with self and I remember people get so mad like oh people are dying from COVID I said yes they are it's sad it's very very sad but pe what people don't want to talk about is how they put themselves at pre pre high risk category because they cannot control their impulses by drinking extra soda and drinking and whatever and that's yeah, the real that's pandemic that's the true killer is people's obesity it's a multi trillion dollar industry the healthcare industry is multi trillion dollar industry the doctor's authority back to the authority stand up routine I'm doing about authority how people are just stand up this is a long light <laughs> well you know how you go to the doctor and you are about to have a doctor checkup and you're a healthy man and you, you're pride and you have your pride about yourself, you work out, lift weights and you're strong and resilient. But then the doctor says, hey, young man, I need you to pull down your pants and bend over. I need you to do an exam. And you, you think to yourself, you're like, well, that's a bit of an odd request, but OK, well, oh, well, it's he's a doctor I guess I must do as he says so you pull your pants down and you bend over and then you're thinking to yourself should I really do this this is kind of a weird request am I being gay now for doing this <laughs> does, it make me gay? does it make me gay and all those values go out the window as no but if you tell me to take off the rubber glove then yes it does <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> that's a good one to add to yeah uh, th so you think of it to yourself to the left, you're like one shot, one shot category. 
And uh, you so you think to yourself, okay, my values are out the window. I'm, I must be gay for doing this. But then again, what really convinces in your mind is that this is authority. This is the doctor. He went for a long time. He went to school for a long time to, to tell me pull my pants down. So I must respect his wishes because he went to school for 12 years to tell me to pull my pants down. So he can put his fingers out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I must respect the authority. <laughs> so anyway, so that's kind of the, what I got going on right now. Does that make me gay, doctor? No, that doesn't make you gay. Unless you ask me to take the glove off my hands. Unless you take, unless you want me to take the glove off. But for me, do you mind if I put on some show tunes? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Show tunes. Oh. Who's me, the doctor or the kid? Yeah. You gotta be. Yeah, mother. What the fuck? Let a few go. They're like off work, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let me get off work. Let me get the fuck out. Okay. Now any? Right. You got any jokes? So, uh, feedback on that ad lib uh, routine I got going on. It's okay. Yeah, it has some a substance to it, like some good pointers, some good punchlines. to still ask everybody because I just didn't trust that doctor because he had a mustache on his face and I used to watch his shows with uh, mustache surfers and they were all gay so I just couldn't get over the fact that they remind me too much of gay doctor. No, it's like, does it make me gay? No, it doesn't make you gay. But for, that, for me, the doctor, bye. This is how you can do it. Well, well, I I ended up being good friends with the doctor, and uh, I had to ask him to get some clarity. And I asked him, I said, "Hey, does that make me gay that you stuck the fingers up my ass?" And the doctor says, "No, but I enjoyed it." Oh, <laughs> that's not a funny delivery. Yeah, you have to go like, "No, it doesn't make you gay." So then, like later on, he asked me over to his place for some Mai Tais. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was a bit of a weird, like, bit, bit, bit of a weird request after he sucked the fingers off my ass. <laughs> so what do you? Hey, oh God, I gotta work on that delivery. That would be but good. then when he pulled off the rubber gloves and he looked me right in the eye, he says, "How about that? How about after work? How about after work? I thank you for some Mai Tais." Took the rubber gloves off very slowly and looked me right in the eye. <laughs> Watch then I guy. was pondering. Watch this guy, watch this guy. Watch this guy. Go ahead, go go ahead buddy, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're all we screamed die on the brakes. Because somebody rear-ended us, we stopped that fast. I think you'll like this um 